Closing market comments for Thursday, July the 30th. Markets closed mixed today with wheat lower, corn about unchanged, and soybeans up on the day. Early this morning at the break, we had the USDA announce two very large sales of corn, one of 1,937,000 metric tons to China. That would be an equivalent to about 78 million bushels for next marketing year. And Unknown purchased 130,000 metric tons of corn for 2021 marketing year. That would be about 5.1 million. So obviously very strong sales for the day. Corn rallied after the report came out, but was unable to hold that rally and closed about unchanged on the day. Large movement of cash grain. Corn continues to be happening across the country as traders buy corn from farmers trying to make space for next year's crop coming in. Uh, the Chinese sold 4.0 million, 4 million metric tons of corn out of their reserves last night. 100% of it sold. It was 739 a bushel that they paid. So maybe that's the reason China's in here aggressively buying corn from the U.S. Export sales for last week. Corn had a cancellation of 1.2 million bushels. That compares to previous week at 8.7 million sales. 5.6 million last year with an expected range of 8 to 22 and 11.1 needed. New crop sales were 25.1 million. Again, next week it was going to be somewhere in the 80s at least. And the expectation on new was 16 to 39. Soybean sales for the week were 9.5 million. That compares to the previous week of 13.4 million. 5.3 million last year. Their expected range of 11 to 18 a needed of cancellations of 13.8. So we are anticipating at some point that we're going to see a, a rollover of sales from this year to next year. And new crop bean purchase, if you remember, China bought beans every day last week and 122.8 million bushels of beans sold. The range expected was 55 to 73. Wheat sales of 24.9 million uh, compared to the previous week of 22.7, 14.1 uh, the previous year, 9 to 24 expected and 13.3 million needed. But again, we're early in the marketing year for wheat. Uh, that marketing year ends May 31st of next year. Jobless claims were 1.434 million. The dollar was down again today, breaking under the 93 level, making a new low, trading at 92,950. And that's down uh, about 480 points on the day. Gold was down, silver were down also for the day. Thanks for watching. 